Family Talk uh, is there to reconcile the people back with their communities. In the most simple way, you go and tell your story, uh, it is accepted, and the community comes in with special structures to make sure that you are reconciled and you keep together, you work together so that you make your own decisions for your own development because it's difficult for uh, the higher authorities to reach you so they sit together and plan for their own welfare. But the perpetrators are ready to come and uh, tell their stories and the reconciliation committee is there to come in. Here was a case wherein an old man came forward and started with a prayer and then started explaining the part of it that his own son disgraced him, brutally dealt with him and um, the old man went into tears. That was the most emotional part of it. Everybody was quiet looking around. How will this matter end? His boy came forward fell on the ground, wept, and asked for forgiveness. That was in the end. He gave a reason why he did that. That the organization which he joined during the war has their own code of conduct. That you don't ask anything. What you are told to do, you have to do it. If you don't do it, they kill you. So he did that to his father to save his own life. It was so emotional. Not only the reconciliation, but the whole community came to say, this is what your son has said. We join him to ask for forgiveness. And that was done. That reconciliation went a long way. And the child and the father were reunited. And he was accepted in the community. So some of the terrible things that were done have excuses for doing them. With the women, we found out that um, a whole lot of them were raped and all that and um, a year after our work we decided that um, we needed to do something with these women and so we had a consultation with them and um, they told us that um, all they wanted was to come together and that when they're together they will decide on what to do for their communities and so we gave them the opportunity of coming together. That's why we initiated the um, Peace Mothers Group. Now that they're reconciled, they all come together. They have this Peace Mothers Farms. They have this community farms. And everybody works together on it. And it brings great uh, 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 um, um, proceeds for them, which they could put together and do something developmental for their community as a whole. Fambo Talk has an internal evaluation system which they go back to the communities and see whether the reconciliation committee, the structures are working. We have engaged a neutral body, the Oxford University, to make their independent assessment that these uh, activities, the impact it is having on the communities. We are perfectly, we the traditional heads are happy with it because it has brought the people back together with less problem as it used to be and conflict is at its lowest in our setting compared to the time before they entered. There was a story. This, there were three brothers and one was um, one was with the rebels. He killed the middle one not knowing that the other one saw him. But this they had never talked about before. And they were all living in the community. The other two that were alive were living in the community. And nobody ever spoke about it until the day of the bonfire. And the other one was shocked to know that this one knew about this. And they never spoke about it. And he was saying all he was waiting for was the opportunity to take revenge. But... As it was, Fumble Top came in and they were able to talk about it and they resolved it and now they are both working together as a team. When you confess, nothing happens to you. As, uh, they were afraid of the special court. They thought the people, but when their own people within their communities reach them, 
that this has no is not a matter of crime and punishment. It's a matter of uh, just saying I'm sorry, and it is accepted. So they they were working that way, and it works perfectly. We great confidence in them. The community people decide on what they want to do and the way they want to do it. The time frame is theirs. So we don't go in there with anything from top to bottom. But they are allowed to choose their own time and the way they want to do it. And so they own the program. It all comes from the community. They have the answers. They are the experts. They have their communities. They know how to go about it. They know what they want. They have what it takes to go through the reconciliation process. They have it all. You just need to consult with them. When, and when they tell you how to go about it, it works perfectly. All we do is support them.